This is Extreme Fanboy! Time for a Stream Fanboy review. A mega Stream Fanboy review of the movie Megalodon. Meg, for short. Meg the Meg. Da, da, da. Extreme Fanboy, Stream Fanboy coming at you. Let's talk about it. So, the movie review, this movie The Meg. I saw it, it was a little disappointing. But it's something that's going to catch your eye. You're probably not going to see it like three times, over and over again. It's a, uh, well, it's a, uh, it's a good movie. They put some comedy into it. Uh, in the theater, not people really. Uh, I didn't hear anyone laugh. I might get a chuckle out of it. You know, just how it starts off. It cuts from one in, one scene to the other scene. Goes from a serious, chaotic moment, helping people out. Then it goes to simple. Then trying to, and the comedy starts creeping through a little bit. You no, know, go through the comedy starts setting itself up. Starts going off. You no, know, you know, with the ridiculous kind of fun character with all these serious people. They'll happen to just happy to get their moment to shine, you know, because there's no bum line. This uh, sea carrier place, middle of the ocean, most expensive one ever built. They're doing court trying to find new life underwater. You got submarines, you got drama. Then, you know, in this movie, you just felt like, you know, let's put it this way. No, I'll just tell you this part. There is a moment in the movie, you know, of course, they doing just some discoveries. There's not really much of a spoiler, just doing some discoveries. It goes from 1 to 30 real bad. Bad. Then it goes from 1 to... Then where's a bit of hope? It goes from 1 to... They get some hope to save themselves. There's 1 to 30. It goes from 1 to 30 to 31. Movie just goes from a lot of... The pace of the movie just changes a lot with the tone and just what they did with the movie. The animation was really good. I really can't complain with the animals in the movie, the ocean, you know... I really can't tell if you use CGI or not. There probably was a lot of CGI moments, but if you could, if there was, you couldn't tell it. You know, of course, no Jason Statham. He did a great role. This movie, it was disappointing, but Jason Statham made it work. In fact, there's a giant shark in this movie that's made it stick to it. Made it, saved it. New actors, old actors, and just, yeah, that's, that's how it was. But also, let's talk about how the movie just had a lot of shocking moments. It just really made you think about nature. You know, human beings, we do the same thing. We find something, we discover it. And as you all know, we all saw the movie The Meg. We all know what happens in movies like this with animals. You know, the you know, we the human race wins, but unfortunately, we've got to do it at a cost. There's always one person got a question. We try to make something, but we did something else. We destroyed something instead. We're trying to discover and make... Oh, try to discover the new new world. Huh. But yet, we found something else, and we have fortunately had to destroy it. The movie had a lot of that message. In the area they chose to do it, though, they chose uh, China, which was surprising, but not really that much surprising. Of course, you saw the Asian characters in the trailers as you saw that. The movie was whew, extremely good, fantastic. With all the stuff they had to do, it went from, uh, just, the movie just kept changing from this and that. The pace of the movie just, held, just threw stuff at you, almost surprisingly. Some things, movies were predictable. You know... Giant shark is pretty good though. Seventy-five giant, seventy-foot giant shark, prehistoric dinosaur shark is pretty spectacular to see, and see nature in its course and just how animal horror movies have changed, and how they've gone. Not really changed, but what they what they have now, what they have to work with, and how easy it is now to get that giant animal just freaking coming at you. All the actors did a good job though. The community aspect, the surprising aspect, people losing lives, you feel sad at the moment, but it's kind of hard, you really you don't mourn that much in the movie, there's not much time to mourn, you're like, there's a time to mourn later, but not now. The end of the movie was the best part, it was good, how the Meg just was going at it, and what they did, and Jake the Statham's character, how he improvised, and how it went from good to bad, to questioning him, to where he was, you know, you know he's an anti, he's an anti-hero, he's not crazy, you no, know, he had a moment like, you know, in the beginning of the movie, he like, oh, this guy crazy or not? He's not crazy. You know, he's crazy, but he gets the job done. Use him. People were just arguing about having him in this movie. People were arguing, should we use his character? To, should we use Jason Statham's character? What, uh, you know, it's questionable. He's good at what he does, but he's very questionable because he might be crazy. Then you find out, you know, more people start bagging on him. Then you find out what? He's doing his part. He does whatever it takes to m make it work and not have people die. But at the same time, if you got to do a sacrifice, you got to do what you can. He's not a bad guy. He just does what he can to make things work in that movie. You got to feel bad for him, but there's really no moment to feel bad or sad for him. Like, you know, he's a good guy. He just can't catch a break. He just really switched it around. All the actors to the little girl, her moment in the movie. She had a small moment, but enough just to touch, just to touch your feelings a little bit, make you feel good. 
you know, you know, I saw there wasn't much blood in the movie, and just what the actors had to do to survive. Some a lot of big thrilling moments. There was a lot of thrilling moments in this movie. So, extreme fanboy. This is my final review. A one out of ten, I'll give it a nine. But uh, from the stream fanboy review, merchandise, I gave it uh, from one to fifty. I give it thirty uh, merchandise. That's what I give it. Maybe it's gonna be a video game. Uh, you know, gonna be a video game, and maybe I get a hat or two. But this really gets you into it. Plus, what other Shark Week, you know, thing going on after Shark Week? It's like Shark Week never ends. Like Shark Year, all people care about is sharks and megalodon. Discovery Channel, so. I live in the Modern Bay Aquarium. I'll show you guys a video when I go to Modern Bay Aquarium. And yeah, stream fanboy. Go see the movie The Meg. It's just a little disappointing, but it's not terrible. It's just something, it's all right. Enjoy the movie Meg. The only thing that saves is Jason Statham, what the actors did, just in the writing of the movie, in the tone, in the pace. That's what saves it. But really, the the actors, what they did, they did a j good job of playing the characters, just the writing could have been better. But the writers, they didn't do a bad job. The director, he did a good job. The Meg and Jeff Statham and what the actors did was the best part and the pace of the tone. How to switch from this to that. Go see go see the movie The Meg. Stream Fanboy out. Stream Fanboy. Watch for the jaws. Stream Fanboy out.